Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Brett Cooper. You know, this video is, this trend is helping out men. I'm not exactly sure what this trend is. I haven't watched the video, but a, like, I think it's self-improvement because I'm seeing the thumbnail and I'm assuming it's what we do in the red pill and in our spaces, tell men to improve themselves and it's not all doom and gloom. But please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get to that chow. It's chow time. Welcome back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. So obviously, guys, with everything happening in the world on a daily basis, all the noise, all the chaos, all the tyrants, we cover a lot of negative things on this show. But no, today, we we're going to be talking about something positive that I've been seeing on TikTok, and it is called Hope Core. And these types of videos have been around. Hope Core for a while, but it seems like now they are even more prevalent, and I think that is an incredibly good thing, and we're going to talk about that today. Before we do, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you've not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. Okay, so as I have been scrolling on TikTok recently, as I do, you know, a public service trying to find content for you guys, Pretty I have much. seen just an influx in motivational compilation videos that are really, really positive and uplifting. And no, I do not mean the Andrew Tate fanboy edits, even though those circulate as well. This is just like a totally different genre of motivational uplifting videos. These are just people giving good life advice with some empowering, you know, rousing music behind it. And they are blowing up, seriously blowing up. Uh, help core stuff this is actually the stuff i listened to a lot when i was going through my divorce you know like that one day or you know someday thing i i went with today's that first day as soon as i divorced i, I for a few weeks i was a little bit disoriented and stuff and then i focused on you know make cer making certain businesses go and just doing certain things and focusing on other things and this stuff really helped and then i started getting in slowly into the manosphere from this it's it's very telling how down men are and somewhat out right so down and out some men are that where it's just these simple little clips can really affect us you know, even watching this now I'm, I'm in a pretty good position in life now than i was like the last four three four years but it still hits home those are the ones that make me cry. Listen, I don't even know if I'm the target audience for these videos and they make me tear up, seriously. Like just starting off with the one day or day one and then Joe Rogan's little bit that he said in there, you know, about getting back up and resilience. Oh, it's all so good. It's all so good. And so many people need to hear it. Like with how much insane stuff is going on in the world right now, especially in our country, in America, where the economy is absolutely shit and young Americans feel so lost and they feel like their future is just being ripped away from them because they can't afford to just buy groceries and live off of one salary. They feel like they're never going to be able to buy a house. The election is just looming and is insane. We have geopolitical issues across the world. That That's why I slightly shifted my content. I still do passport bro and but i slightly shifted to just content that hopefully can reach some younger men or even men my age to help them pull them out of that rut because dude i care <laughs> a lot of men do i just don't think a lot of men have the power to be able to do anything about it or have the capabilities of even speaking on it nowadays just because Again, men weren't trained to be speaking on these types of subjects. I'm not saying you're, you're going to be a pansy or you're going to fucking cry or whatever it is in front of others. 
But these things we internalize and we internalize by ourselves. Majority of us men. You know, I internalize a lot of these things by myself. All the trials, the tribulations, you know, the struggles in life. You know, I don't really tell my friends too, too much, but I do tell them. I do discuss this with my friends. I do try to put an outlet for this because I know if I don't, it leads to worse and bad things, you know? That are impacting us and impacting our dollars. There's so much noise, like I said at the beginning. And these videos, I think, are breaking through all of that. Like, there's no political meaning. There's no alternative woke nope. underlying in any of these videos. They're just pure. And they are reaching so many people. Here's another one. It also starts with Theo Vaughn. I love that he's in so many of these, and it just warms my heart. I, I actually like him. Theo Vaughn uh, Anyway, watch this one, too. Hey man, you can't wait for everything to be perfect to start living your life. It, that's such a powerful statement, too, right? Because a lot of us are looking for that perfect scenario to do something or that perfect something or something has to be like lined up. It doesn't have to, you know, like sometimes you just got to take the bull by the horns and just hold on for dear life. Right. <laughs> it's, it's hard out there for men or women, for all people. But remember it's for, everyone everyone has their own struggles people struggle in different ways even well-off people struggle themselves they just struggle differently than we do they don't have the financial struggles like normal people do like us but they have those you know moral compasses issues and a lot of those other things so don't think that it's you're alone in the struggle but i'm sure not very many people are going to discuss these struggles with you unless you build really strong connections with them. I was this type of person. I was very like, it needs to be perfect or else I can't move on from this. I can't do this. And it slowed me down in life. Why? Because nothing ever comes perfectly, guys. Like, opportunity shows itself when you're ready for it, right? And if you're not ready for it, you just get fucked over or you miss the opportunity. That's why you always have to prepare and be ready to pay a price. This is why we always talk about work on yourself. You know, get into industries you want to work in. You know, build your skills. Why? Because if you build your skills, when opportunities do come arise, you'll be ready. You'll have the skills ready. I live my life. I do have available. And another reason why I love these videos is because they pop up in the midst of all of the other crap that we see on social media. You know, all the comparisons of other people, what are other people doing, what are people buying, all the overconsumption that is just dominating TikTok right now, which is just a huge thing, and I want to do a whole episode about that, but really just all of the comparisons of everybody else's lives. I love that so many of the messages in these videos are, you can only control some things, and it's one thing that I live by and that I say all the time, but you can only control your response to the things happening around you and happening in the world. So make the most of that. Like mm -hmm. some of these videos are saying, you know, go out, live a little, do crazy things, but they're also saying like, the grass is green or where you water it. You do have control over a lot of things in your life and you should, you know, take that opportunity to make it better. I just think they're so fantastic. And even though I'm a girl who likes these videos, for the most part, they are targeted and consumed by men, which is something that kind of surprised me when I looked at the comment section, but it was all guys responding to this. And the guys are 
eating it up on social media. And I can say this from experience because I sent a couple of these videos to my team, which is very male dominant. I was like, what do you guys think about this? Have you seen these before? Should I do an episode about this? And immediately I started getting messages from my male producers being like, oh my God, I'm so pumped up. Oh my God, one day or day one, it's like, it's really hitting different right now. Like they love it. And they're not alone in that. Read these. I 100% agree. This is why I feature so many different people and different creators on my channel. You know, hey, we all very generally say very similar things. You know, we, we talk about very similar things, but we say it quite differently. Again, our our tone, how we look, you know, how we present it, how you consume us. It, it makes a difference of who says it, how they say it and where they say it or whatever it is. So the more voices I can bring in just like how these clips are just bringing in like more famous people saying a lot of these things. These are all the people in our niche, in our industry, in our content, you know, that are saying very similar things. Again, you don't have to agree with everything. You know, you just take it in as pretty much these, these videos and internalize it yourself. And hopefully it pumps you up to want to do some of these things or to even start thinking about saving or, you know, traveling or whatever it is. Comments. I'm so hyped up. Thank you all for your help to cheer me up. I'm so thankful for that. Another guy said, been telling myself that I don't need to be weight to be happy, but putting in that effort is tough. Gotta be better. Stay up, Kings. The motivation that is happening in these comment sections is amazing. I mean, they're so positive. There's no division, no debating, no politics. It's just dudes being dudes, hyping each other up, and we love to see it. I mean, like I said earlier, these motivational type videos have been around for ages. This is nothing new. I think since the beginning of social media, this has been like a genre of videos. I remember scrolling on Facebook back in, you know, 2016, probably the last time I used Facebook on a regular basis, other than for Facebook Marketplace, which you guys know I love. But I remember watching like the emotional edits of famous, you know, graduation speeches and that sort of thing. But these specific videos have a new name. They're kind of designed just for TikTok. And I started to see it pop up in the comment section. I didn't know that it had a name. But one guy said, Hope Core Chills hit different. So obviously, I had to go to Urban Dictionary and they said it's a genre of video. I had no clue about this Hope Core or anything. I'm <laughs> sure this is it's kind of new to me, like the, the, the wording. But yes, these videos. I even shove them in some of my videos here and there too. It was that invoke a feeling of hope, glee, wholesomeness, and most happy emotions. They can range to nostalgic clips, beautiful scenery, and usually have an audio of sliced together videos and songs. You can use it in a sentence, man, the only thing keeping me alive right now is my mom and hope core videos. I'm telling you, it's reaching the men. The men are being impacted by the hope core videos on TikTok. And like I said, it's reaching them because a lot of them have no hope. A lot of men are just... They're, they're not even lost. Lost is one thing. These men are, have given up. Lost is they don't know what to do. They're still willing to try and look for themselves. No, these men have just given up. They don't even, they don't even have a clue or even want to do anything anymore because they've been there for so long. So I can see why motivational speeches from you know, pretty masculine, pretty popular, pretty, you know, well thought out leaders in celebrity space really hits home. Like Jordan Peterson, like I listen to a lot of his stuff and that stuff really gets me, you know, like cleaning your room. Like that is such a big fucking deal. Like if you guys don't clean your room and make your bed every day, you guys are slacking. Why? Because that's so simple. You fully control that. You fully control how your room looks. Just pick up stuff, put it in the hamper, or pick up stuff and throw it in the trash. And make your bed. Right? These simple little things. When you don't hear it often, or you don't hear it from the right voice, it just doesn't hit the same. It might not even be a new trend, but I didn't know that this was an actual thing with a name with a label until I started looking into it. And guys, it's just so positive. Like the joy that these videos bring is comparable to the joy I feel when I use stamps.com. Guys, God holiday damn it, rush Brit. is here, and that means more mailing and She's shipping so for good your with family these, like, and your business. But it doesn't transition have to be more stress. Uh, ads. You're gonna love it. Again, that is stamps is stamps.com. But I think that there is a bigger discussion to be had in seeing how all of the guys in the comments are reacting so positively to these videos. Because it's seriously like like they are starved for this kind of content and this kind of empowerment. Shocking.
Like, no, <laughs> I don't think that anybody who was watching this video is guessing why this is positive for men. We have talked about it a lot, but there are so many issues concerning men that are not getting addressed in our society. Modern feminism lies to us and convinces us that men are the problem and that women are oppressed by them, when in fact, women are now on top and are succeeding by every single margin. They are advancing faster than men. Women now have more degrees than men. We're making, you know, the same amount of money, if not more than men. Our mental health is better than men. And then we turn mm. around and we see that men Getting I wouldn't say fully because you know the highest demographic of uh, you know pill poppers are still women left behind and they're literally having doors slammed shut in their faces when I said that the thing I imagined was a man applying for a job really wanting a job being super qualified maybe more qualified than any of the other applicants but then getting pushed aside for a female applicant just so the company can say oh yes we hired a woman like that is what is happening to men on a daily basis all while being told that the things that naturally make them men are wrong and backwards and toxic and bigoted like no wonder men are struggling and because of all of this, they are becoming increasingly isolated. I mean, a lot of men feel like they are like a detriment to society. Why? Because that's what society propagates for men, especially young men. As you're growing up, you hear women, men should die. Men are this. Men are rapists. Men are this. Like when you become an adult and you become a man yourself, you're like, fuck, nobody likes me. Everybody thinks I'm going to be some kind of horrible person. Like, mate, I should just stay, you know, in my house and do nothing because everybody's going to fucking trash on me. And I feel like that's a lot of how the younger generation feels. Even people my age probably feel similar to this. Here's a headline about that. Male loneliness, the ticking time bomb that is killing men. It's been described as a silent epidemic. The number of lonely men in the UK and US is on the rise, and so are male suicides. Feminists love to ignore this. See, this is the part where I'm like, people all like people want to argue with me that oh, men are made are not social creatures. If we're not social creatures, we wouldn't be deleting ourselves at such a high rate because we're lonely. Like People, I'm saying, I'm not trying to trash people to say the opposite, but just loneliness is such a devastating thing for most people, most men, women. To be alone without anybody to be able to like confide in, without family, without anybody to lean on, just to just struggle through life by yourself. A lot of people can't handle that. They love to ignore all of these statistics, but men are more suicidal. Men are struggling. Men are more often homeless. Men lack meaningful friendships, as another article says here. According to a recent YouGov poll in the UK, almost one in five men owned up to not having a single close friend. Furthermore, one in three, 32%, stated that they didn't have a best friend. For women, these figures were lower at 12 and 24%, respectively, suggesting that on average, men in the UK are leading more solitary lives compared to women. So obviously, no surprise here that this type of content that Hope Corps is making an impact on men's days as they're scrolling through social media, especially considering that social media is the younger generation's social landscape. Like this is where they are going for community and support and comfort. And I'm so glad that they are finding this kind of content instead of the other garbage that they could be consuming. And we can see with this hope core trend that men are connecting to it because they need a tribe and they need positive reinforcements in our society. These videos- You hear that? They need a tribe. They need others. Even men. This is why I'm saying like men, like, I'm so dumbfounded sometimes when when someone's when people say, "Oh, men can just be," no, we're a tribe. We've always been tribes. There's never been a lone wolf that has been able to propagate anything. The lone wolf dies off. Remember this: lone wolves just go off on their own and die off. But society was built not by lone wolves; it was by people that really understood that. People need a group of people and a society to grow with. It's best for our children. It's best for our women. It's best for everyone. This is why we did it this way. Not because we were forced to do it this way. No, we wanted it this way because we knew this was the best outcome for our families, ourselves, and you know the people around us, our neighbors are not pointing the finger at anybody or whining about the world around them. It is just straight positivity and motivation, and that is so good. And the proof is not only in the studies that we mentioned, but it is also in the sheer size of the reach of these videos. Here's a couple screenshots. Like, this one has 12.7 million wow. views, 3.2 million likes. It is so common to see these types of numbers on these Hope Core videos.
which is just wild. That is not normal on TikTok. Like millions and millions and millions of men are connecting with this. And the comment sections are positive, just pure gratitude and appreciation. Guys commenting to other guys saying, hey man, you've got this, I'm supporting you. It's amazing. One guy said, always remember- You know what? This is why I love our niche. You know, we'll get some hate comments down here and there trying to, you know, you know, small dick and all that. But we also see a lot of comments when a lot of our uh, community posts and saying, and I'm going through this. This is what I'm going through. I'll, I'll, I'll see like one or two messages right after that. Hope you're doing well, brother. You know, like it's, you're not alone, brother. Or, you know, like, you know, like, hope you're going through this. I hope you're, you're doing better. You know, like there's so many men that are trying to help out other men in our community, which is wonderful. You know, like, we shouldn't really be trashing each other. Like, again, I don't really try to trash other creators or any, any other things. Why? Because we should all be working together in some form or fashion to do a greater good, right? So, hey, it's okay to struggle out there, guys. It's okay to not know what you're doing or want to do, but... Don't let it consume you. Don't let it think that you're going to not get anywhere because you don't know where you're going. It's okay. Sometimes I, I tell you guys, stay confused and st stumble forward and stay confused. You don't have to know what the fuck you're doing or going. Just pick a direction. Hopefully it's a good direction. I'm saying like you know, towards a, like a career, a goal, a family or something like that. Pick that direction and then do everything in your power to make it work that's 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 what i suggest remember things get worse before they get better they're offering support to each other another one said i remember one time i was going through a lot and was thinking about just ending things but then one night my tiktok feed was just filled with these types of videos like one after the other silly as it was i took it as a sign that maybe things would get better and they did after a while somebody else that i didn't know that hope core tiktok existed i'm so happy that i saw this and i love that men are expressing all of this, that they feel safe enough and comfortable enough in this community that is being built by Hopecore, as ridiculous as it is. I'm surprised there's not women in the comment section trying to trash men that are like propagate, you know, trying to cheer each other up because I've seen shit like that too. Sounds that they feel comfortable enough to comment these types of things. And it reminds me of when Chris Williamson was on the show to talk to me. By the way, he is on tour right now. He has sold out shows. It looks amazing. If you have the chance to go see him, you absolutely should. If not, just watch his podcast because he's brilliant. But anyway, Chris talked about the importance of men finding community and that he felt like that was one of the biggest solutions for this man crisis that we're seeing in society. And I know that it is so hard. Like that is an easy thing to say, but it is a very, very difficult thing to do, especially in our digital landscape. It takes getting out of your comfort zone. I've been there, I know. But you need to find people who are going to encourage you and set goals with you and just be men with you and push you to be better. And these videos and these comment sections aren't exactly that, but it is a step in the right direction for so many men, and that is such a good thing. So I am officially Hope Corps' number one fan. I don't know, hope core. I don't hate on it. I think it's wonderful. It's it's a genre of videos that definitely is needed, especially for men to consume. And hey, I hopefully they consume that. They they get to a position in life where they they, they want to do better, and they'll find other videos to help them improve in you know their bodies, their face. Then whatever it is they want to improve on because there's videos everywhere for everything there's videos on how to improve your how your face looks there's videos improving your body there's videos improving your, your color scheme that's the great thing about the internet nowadays you can kind of cherry pick the niches you want to learn and and, and dive in please subscribe down below i really appreciate it and i'll catch you guys next time ciao